three lawmakers apparently violated the House's rules on stock trading, while another congressman bought stock in an oil firm just days after defending the company during a hearing on Capitol Hill. On Friday, Rep. Kim Schreier, Democrat Washington, reported buying a stake in Apple worth more than $500,000 in a joint account in July. A federal law requires lawmakers to report securities trades within 45 days. Rep. Schreier was unaware of the transaction, which was made by her husband who handles their finances independently, Elizabeth Carlson, a spokesperson for Schreier, said in a statement, as soon as she became aware, she filed the required report. She has never before missed a transaction reporting deadline and will make sure all such deadlines are met in the future. Subscribe to Forbes Checks and Imbalances newsletter for an in-depth look at the politicians, businesses and money sloshing around Washington, D.C., the wife of Rep. Alan Lowentha. And earlier this month, Rep. Richard Allen, Republican Georgia, reported a June purchase of more than $15.000 of shares in Dover, an industrial manufacturer. It wasn't the first time Allen took more than 45 days to report a trade. Spokespeople for the congressman did not respond to inquiries. News outlets, including Forbes, have identified 47 lawmakers who've been late reporting their stock trades, according to a tally kept by Insider. Rep. Bob Gibbs, Republican Ohio, reported his purchase of more than $1.000 in ExxonMobil within 45 days, yet it's still noteworthy. The trade took place 12 days after Gibbs defended oil executives who were testifying before the House Committee on Oversight and Reform. During the hearing, Gibbs called it shameful that Democrats were demonizing the oil and gas industry. Gibbs' entanglements with the oil industry go beyond his personal investments. His campaign has received $42.000 from the oil industry groups that testified before his panel. Gibbs' office did not respond to an inquiry.